Hi, my name is Kendall Dara. I'm a reference librarian at the Library of Michigan. On behalf of the Library of Michigan and the Michigan Center for the Book, I'd like to introduce you to one of Michigan's children's books. Public libraries around the state and even some ebook collections will have this book available for you. A Fist for Joe Lewis and Me by Trinka Hake Snowball, illustrated by Nicole Tudgel, 2019. Gordy and his family live in Detroit, Michigan, the heart of the United States automobile industry. Every Friday after coming home from work at one of the auto plants, Gordy's father teaches him how to box. Their hero is the famous American boxer, Joe Lewis, who grew up in Detroit. But the Great Depression has come down hard on the economy. Detroit's auto industry is affected and thousands of people lose their jobs, including Gordy's father. When his mother takes on work with a Jewish tailor, Gordy becomes friends with Ira, the tailor's son, bonding over their shared interest in boxing and Joe Lewis. As the boy's friendship grows, Gordy feels protective of Ira, wanting to help the new boy fit in. At the same time, America is gearing up for the rematch between Joe Lewis and the German boxer Max Schmeling. For many Americans, this fight was about good versus evil, the United States against Nazi Germany, against the backdrop of the, the fight of the century, a young boy learns what it means to make a, make a stand for a friend. Trinka Hakes Noble is an award-winning author of more than 30 books, including The Legend of the Sea Glass, The Scarlet Stocking Spy, The Orange Shoes, The Legend of Michigan, and many more. She has received many awards for her excellent children's books. She grew up in Michigan and now lives in Northern New Jersey. Nicole Tudgel was born in Highland Park, Michigan and found art a fun escape growing up. While studying studio art at Wheaton College, Nicole discovered children's book illustration and knew it would be her path. Today, she is the illustrator of over 30 books, many of which have received awards. When she's not drawing, Nicole visits schools and conducts lectures and workshops, practices Tai Chi, and watches Doctor Who. She lives in central Massachusetts.